We're back in Virginia. We're going fishing for cobia. But tonight, actually, we're going to be looking for some giant redfish. That's right, people. Been up since 4 a.m. Just took a five-hour energy. I got a lot of energy right now. I'm just jacked. Austin, you ready, dude? I'm ready. Let's bro. go, bro. Go. Let's go. I'm going to go fishing. We are here at the spot. We got our lines out and we are looking for giant redfish, or giant or red drum. Red drum is what they call them here. We call them redfish in Florida. Same fish. Awesome. What do you think? Dude? At least it's not rough over here. We got a moving current and all that. So just a waiting game. Right? It's all about moving current, right? No slack about, tide. Slack yeah, tide is terrible. Slow, slow tide, slack tide, they do not feed. It's all around the moving We got a good moving current here. We got no rain, thank God. It's supposed to, we're supposed to rain all day. So hopefully tomorrow it doesn't rain either too. We're only here for a couple days, guys. We gotta head back, so let's hope we find some fish. Fish on. Dude, literally been sitting here for about an hour. Rod just goes off. Tighten this reel up. There we go. This might be the biggest redfish of my life. How big? How big do you think this fish is, bro? 48. Inch. 40. Well, I was about to say 48 too. 48. That's about 48? average. That's so about average redfish over here. Average redfish, 48 inches. Yeah. Oh, this fish is getting heavier. Dude, he's got a lot of world. We, we're way out, man. Well, I didn't realize how much line he did. He's out 100 yards. Yeah, is that your bucket? Is that your fancy bucket? And there he goes again. Dude, this is a big redfish, bro. Dude, that's a big, that's a, that's a 25, 30 pound fish. I mean, that might be bigger. Ready, Steve? Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him. Oh, that right there, folks. That right there. Oh my gosh, dude. That's a giant, dude. What is he, bro? Is he at the nose up there? 40, is he 46, like 47. I said? 47. 47? Yeah, exactly. That's a giant redfish. New PB, Virginia Giants. What a monster. Let's let this fish go. Catch another one. Let me kick right out of here, just like that. There it goes. Nice work, Austin. Hey, man, congrats. Dude, that's a new PB right there, bro. Good fish. That's a good start, man. You know what's crazy is in Florida, that's an absolute monster. <laughs> absolute monster. But in Virginia, an average big one right here. It's an average fish, right? Average good one, yeah. I mean, you get a lot of. Small I mean, ones, I saw I saw that one you guys caught. What was that two weeks ago or yeah, last week? Uh, about two weeks ago. That's a giant, dude. That thing was seventy pounds. That thing was the biggest thing I ever seen in my life. Yo, no also, I got a serious question. Why is my hat always crooked, dude? Always crooked? I don't yeah. know. You know, I've noticed that too. Yeah, yeah I, I can't solve this problem. Like, it just. I it's just, gotta be the most random question I've ever heard about. It life. is. It's just, just, I get so many comments about it, dude. But it's just like, I just fixed my hat while I was talking to you, bro. And I realized, like, wow, I'm the crooked hat guy, dude. I just can't get my hat straight. You know what? But it's okay. We catch fish, right? Yeah, maybe that's. It's, maybe this that's is what deal. we talk about when it's like midnight right now. Like, get a little been up since 4 a.m. What are we going? Like, I mean, I can't even do math right now, but it's was, so late. Was that? That's like. Talking about fishing tomorrow. Well, when I got, I got about five. No, 4:45. I don't even, what was, okay. it, what was it, 11 right now? Midnight? I don't even know. About 11.30, I think. Is it 11.30? All right, we got another fish on. I got this, bro. So this is how we bonita fish. Six rod right in the water. I forget that I'm talking to you. There he is. Oh, it's a giant, dude. <laughs> bro, did you see that thing? It looked like it had a big head on it. That's a big fish, dude. That thing's whooping you off. Yeah, he's whooping me. That's, that's, that's a big, big dog, bro. He really likes this boat, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you. There we go. Come on. Get away from the boat. You ready, Steve? Ready? Here, no, 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 no. That's a giant, dude. I think that's bigger than the other one, bro. What do you think? How much do you think he weighs, Steve? Bro, 40 pounds. You think he's 40 pounds? Yeah, 40, 35, 40 pounds. Bro, that's probably close to 50 inches. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Oh close my to gosh, what a monster redfish, guys. Second of the night, tank. I mean, this is bigger than any redfish I've ever seen in Florida. They're a second fish, dude, and there's bigger ones down there. He's like right at 48, a little longer than 48, barely 48? over 40, barely over 48. 48 inches? Yep. All right, here we go, ready, guys? Head first. 
It is almost 1 a.m., which means it is time to pack it up. Bite's a little slow tonight, but we did manage to catch back-to-back -back personal best redfish, which is actually pretty epic. 40, I think it's 47 and 48. Huge fish, giant, bigger than I've ever caught in Florida. Biggest I've ever seen, actually. But guys, like I said, we gotta get a couple hours of sleep tonight, so we are gonna head back. We got about an hour ride back, and we're gonna get ready for tomorrow. Kobe is tomorrow, hopefully we find him. The fog is insane right now. Like, it's, it's miserable. About as bad as it gets out here before. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty I mean, intense. I didn't know if we were gonna hit a ship on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, yeah, this is, let's just let's just roll with it. Let's see what happens. Nah, I'm joking. We, we, we were safe. We, we, we were following safe. We're following the bridge the whole way up. But seriously, this kind of weather is unreal for giant redfish. I mean, they love this. They yep. love nasty weather, like miserable weather. Miserable the redfish. More, the more comfortable you are, the, the more the better fight it is. The good thing so, is, bro, it's not too rough. Like we're bouncing around here a little bit, but yeah. it could be more. Oh, it definitely I'm grateful could. for how it is right now. <laughs> the bait of choice for these redfish are blue crabs. Blue crabs. And if you don't wear clubs like these. You're gonna have a miserable day. Show us how it's done, Steve. All right. And explain to us what you're doing here, because I've actually never done this so before. You pick a feisty crab. He's pretty feisty. Look at that. You, you grab, grab onto the spine yeah. and behind the uh, swimmer fin. And you pull off his top. Peel the like top that. off. I see that top. Look at that. It just comes right off. Like and that goes in the water. All right, that's chum. Okay. And you take your uh, freshly peeled crab. And you cut him right in half. Right in half. And uh, that's the bait, dude. Claw's optional. Wow, look at that claw. He's on you, dude. All right, that's the bait. So how do you uh, how do you hook this bait now? Show me how to do that. Hook the crab. Yeah. By the way, we're using circle hooks for these guys. You want to do it right right, it. right in the side. And run it on the inside, the yeah. out, right behind the swimmer fin. Right behind the swimmer fin. Yep. Perfect. And it's not going to spin in the current. Not going to spin in the current. I like it, it's dude. Gonna lay there flat. Let's throw it out there. Let me see. Here we go. Boom. So this is our drum rig we use. It's just a simple fish finder rig. Um, just snaps over like, you slide that actually over your line. Um, it, it can actually move freely. Uh, it's an eight ounce weight pyramid, just so it sticks in the sand better. Got a bead so the snap swivel doesn't rub up against your, uh, your knot there and, and do any damage to it. Uh, right to a barrel swivel, that's a uni, and that's a uni there. Uh, you don't need a long leader for the drum. Uh, shorter leaders are usually preferred just so it it doesn't spin in the curtain and all that. Uh, and this is just an 8 circle. And um, it, it's, it's kind of offset. I prefer the offset hooks just because, I don't know, I just, I've always used offset for them. But uh, this blue crab female, just hooking it in the back fin, or uh, under the skin here, comes out of the back fin. Um, and it's good to go. That's your rig. Dude, he's dumping, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a little nervous now. What you for? That's a stud, dude. I'm starting to get a little nervous here, dude. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna tend to drag up a little bit. How big is this fish, dude? What the heck is this, dude? It's the real smoking. Look at the head shake. Oh my gosh. Turn the baby. No, 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 no. Dude, this reel is so hot. Yes. I'm gonna get you, boy. You, you're gonna get it away from me, bro. No freaking way, full drag. This is the biggest redfish ever, dude. How big is this redfish? Or oh, the current's just so strong. If that's, a, if that's a red, dude, that's a fucking ginormous red. How big is this red, dude? Dude, the reel is like, the reel is about to give me third degree burns, bro. I'm not joking. Bro, what is this? Dude, this was a, it ate a, oh, here we go. Dude, uh, this seems fighting as hard as a black tip, dude. What pound braids on here? Uh-oh. This is the fight of a life. That's it, gone. There, that was not happening, dude. Too much drag I had. Try, try to pull that. Pull the line up. Pull the line up. 
Yeah. Yes. Feel that, dude. Oh my goodness, the reel's like on fire. I dude. told you, bro. Dude, there's no way that's a redfish. That reel is 200 degrees, dude. What was that? Gigantic. What do you think that was? A stingray? Yeah. Dude, right. that was not happening. I mean, there's no way. I needed, if I hooked him on the Stella, I probably could have put some mad heat on him, dude, but not on the bait bar. No freaking way. Game over. I mean, I literally saw the bottom of the spool. That was not happening. What rod am I gonna put this on? Yeah! Should I use it? I think it's got whack in it. Or am I tripping? Yeah, it's getting bent, is it not? Yeah, it's getting bent, dude. 100%. 100% getting bent. 100%. There we go. Fish on. That's a yeah, red. Yeah, that's a red. You get the lines up for him? Yeah. Tighten that drag just a little bit. There we go. <laughs> the baby's going on this rod too that he had a bite on. It's got a little bit of, oh, look at that. That's, that's a, some deer getting right there. It ain't small, I can tell you that. It's definitely a nice red. I mean, stronger current. What's up, man? Thanks for the honk. Appreciate it. We'll see though. He does not want to come up. Nope. Ready? Got him, Steve. Get him in the net. Yes! Woo! That's a nice red fish right there. Not as big as the ones last night. But still a great fish. Broke the ice, dude. Yep. But after Broke the ice. All, after losing all them in a row, man. That's dude, a good one. Dude, we, uh, we hooked some studs before this guy. <laughs> yeah. Let's get him back in the water. Here we go. Head first. Oh, he took off like a bat. And, uh, bro, first fish in the boat. Yeah. Got smoked twice. Keep, twice. And now we uh, we, we broke the ice. Dude, the bite is turning on, dude. Yeah, yeah, it is. We're going to be out here for a while. We should, definitely. Was it being dude. this good? I mean, this, is, this, is, this is way hotter than last night. Yes. Yep. It's the fall, guys. Make sure when you come to Virginia, you book a trip in the fall. Oh, man. Don't be doing that to me, man. Don't be doing that. Fall the trips. Day. That's what he likes. Fog trips, dude. All night long, right? Nighttime fog's not too bad. Daytime fog, eh, it's not the best for COVID. But, you know. Hey, you get the job done. We're drum fishing. Drum fishing. Nighttime fog. Yes, fog, fog Virginia. Remember that, guys. Austin. See, see that face right there? Look at that guy. Look at that. See that? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like that light. But that light's bright. That's the drum guy right there. You want, if you want to catch trophy redfish, that guy right there. Come on, man. That's a bigger fish. Oh. Hello. Red. 100% red. See the head shakes? Dude, this, it's fine. Just like that ray, dude. This is a bigger fish, dude. My hands are so slimy. I feel like the rod's going to slip out of my hands. Just, we literally just released the other redfish. Let me get that knot in here, that heavy, the heavy break. He's going to come water skiing in. Ready? Right in the net. Right in the net. Got him. In the net. Now we got to put him in the boat. Is it bigger? It's a meat haul, dude. Oh, that's way bigger. That's a big fish. That's a giant right there. Oh my gosh. Look at the girth on that fish. This thing is, this is my new biggest redfish. This is, big, this is definitely heavier than any fish we caught yet yesterday, dude. Oh my gosh. We've been running on six hours of sleep, like no sleep in the last like 50, 60, I don't even know how many hours. But it's worth it, catching fish like this. Austin, dude, you're the man, bro. Let's, let's measure this guy and yeah. get him back in the water. Actually, not as long as it was last night, but he's definitely fatter. 40, 46? 46? Uh, 45. He's, uh, he's, yeah, he's right at 46 here. All right, ready? Let's let her go. Here we go. Boom. Dude, monsters. Good job, man. Monsters, guys. Giants. Fish on. That's drunk. Hot rod again, baby. Ooh. Dude, this is a weird fish, man. Oh, it's raining, dude. Oh, another big red. Literally raining as hard as can be. Get him in the net. Dude, is that a giant, bro? It's a shorty, but he's fat. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a short female. And they're big old fat Virginia redfish. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Less than a year ago, I never knew there even were redfish in Virginia. And then Austin called me and said, dude, giants. Let's let this fish go. Boom. As I was saying, dude, I didn't even know redfish came this far north. That's I knew crazy. they were in, in the Carolinas, but. You know, I mean, you actually put a look at a map. They're, they're, they're pretty close, but yeah. this makes this makes sense. This is the end of the road. Like, 
the bay, the, the breeding ground. They go all the way up in there, yep. Just so much food here. Crabs. Crabs everywhere. Crabs and Midhaven. Crabs and Midhaven. They can't All they can it. eat buffet. Yep. Dude, there literally is a menu here for redfish. It's their own post on every one of these pillars here. <laughs> all you can eat buffet, nine ninety nine a month. Hey, Sean. There we go. One thing that Austin, I'm gonna tell you, like a lot of people don't understand, they don't understand how much pressure you can actually put on a fish. Yeah, you, you're, like, you're like, fishing. When you have right. good knots and just everything's good and you know how to work the rod and reel, yeah. you can put some ridiculous pressure on a fish. You trust your knots, dude. I mean, 65 pound braid, 80 pound mono, you, you put some heat on them. Yeah, that ain't going nowhere. And this fish is getting whooped right now. There he is. Another jai. Pressure on him. Let's get him in. Got him? Yeah. Get him in, get him in, get him in. In the boat. Boom. One little tip, when you get a fish in the net, open your bail so that he can pull that line in. You do not want that rod bending when he pulls that fish in the boat. Just like that. Another giant redfish here with Fineo Sport Fishing Charters. I'm not joking, this was a lot of fun. We, we just slayed them, dude, like giants. Dude, I still want to know what we hooked, that giant fish. That smoked us. Yeah. We gotta get this fish back in the water, so make sure you guys check out Fineo Sport Fishing Charters, Captain Austin Hain. If you guys wanna catch giant redfish in your Virginia, he's your man. Make sure you click that link in the description and check him out. Giant fish, we're gonna let this fish go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Frog Tongs, designed for you, created for the outdoors, and Sudacore Nutrition.